Welcome back everybody. So today, something slightly different, but it was a prime opportunity for me. NVIDIA Shield TV Pro HD 4K box. We're going to be able to do a full setup from the beginning. I ordered a new one. I've set it up and we're going to set it through. I've opened it. Don't need to show you unboxing now. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set it up. And we will most likely be giving one of these away soon to one of our loyal watchers. We sent one out to one of the most interactive followers we have so if you want to get involved in that make sure you're dropping those likes shares subscribes the usual stuff and we will put some links underneath if anyone wants to buy in a video shield because we're going to be doing some of these videos alongside our usual fire stick videos and streaming videos so this is straight from the beginning i've just turned it on and we're going to follow the instructions remote in hand press the button to sync and let's see what happens welcome Quickly set up your TV with your Android phone. You can easily change your Android phone's Wi-Fi network and Google access to your TV. We're going to not do that. And we're going to try and skip it and see what happens. So we can do it manually for you guys. So we need to connect to our internet first thing. Um, I won't go on the 5G. Right, there's my internet. I'm just going to put my password in quickly. Okay, so the password is in. We're just going to go next. Obviously, you can wire it straight into your router. I'm going on Wi-Fi just for recording purposes, but if you plug your Ethernet straight in, it will be simpler for you. Um, you won't need to add any passwords or anything like that. So now we wait. If any of you own a NVIDIA Shield while we're waiting, do let me know underneath, because this will really help us out um, knowing what videos were needed and things like that going forward. I haven't done any for a long time, so it's good to get back on it. So now we sign into a Google account. There we go. We go to the docswiffy at gmail.com account. Um, again, I will hide the password, guys. We hit go. Okay, I have two-factor authentication on my Google account, obviously. So I now have to confirm it's me. Um, we do that straight on my phone. Yours may log straight in. Obviously, it is worth putting two-factor authentication on for security purposes, which obviously I use for my YouTube channels and everything like that. Right. We now, you can read your policies. We will accept them. Um, do you want to turn on location for me? I'm not a fan of location turned on, but that might be up to you guys. And I'm not a fan on helping improve. Help your system customize your room by turning on this setting. Okay, we can turn that one on. A few things you should know. Get personal results. We can do that one. I like Google Assistant as well. Again, these are all optional. Install some of the following apps. Uh, let's have a look. Um, I won't be using that one. IP Vanish, definitely. Um, we want to stay safe on our device. So linked underneath is an IP Vanish deal as well for you guys. So you've got a VPN. Um, I'm not fussed about Google Duo either. It's Facebook Watch I can use. I'm just going to turn off some of these ones. These are things I've had installed previously. I don't need any of them at the moment. Um, I don't mind them. don't want you. Okay, we have a bit of Spotify as well. And the usual stuff. So we click continue again. Select what you want. We're going to skip through. We have to agree to NVIDIA's terms and conditions, obviously. I'm going to go not now for the rewards. I'm not fussed about that. And we've got an update available. As soon as you get it, you're bound to have an upgrade available. It will do it for you straight away. Um, this will get you to the latest version of Android. And actually, the latest NVIDIA update is very, very good. What we're also going to do on some follow-up videos is show you how to install third-party apps onto a Fire Stick. How to install third-party apps onto a NVIDIA Shield. We're going to show you how to customize it. We're going to show you settings you need to turn off for security purposes. And we will show you all the settings you need to have the best running device out there and to keep yourself safe. Right, let's just skip past this bit while it updates and we'll see you at the other side. Okay, now it's installed, we have to obviously restart, reboot, and we'll be going in. A Shield Experiment upgrade is available. Preparing to install Shield will restart shortly. This is all normal process, step by step, folks. And we reboot. 
and we wait. Why are you waiting, guys? This is a prime time again to drop those comments underneath for us. Upgrading your shield experience. We have plenty of other videos here for you, for your streaming. A lot of these already work on the NVIDIA Shield. They're already set up for you for some of the streaming apps, the VPNs, the settings. Um, we have covered Fire Sticks a lot, but we're going to have a mixture of both now. And the VPN we did mention, this is one of our partners, IP Vanish VPN is linked underneath. $3.99 a month, installs directly on your NVIDIA Shield or your Fire Stick or your PC as we demonstrated at the beginning. Um, this will help you keep safe online. It's great for your online safety, um, great for your powerful internet privacy, data protection, everything like that is all linked underneath for you with it. And let's see how we're doing. Are we updated yet? It's coming. We're getting there. We are almost there. This should be the one. NVIDIA Shield. So as you see, even going through that, it's taken us about eight to nine minutes from the beginning to the end. And that's when I know what I'm doing. So as a beginner's guide, it might take you a little bit longer, 10 to 15 minutes if you've never done this before. Um, but take your time. Don't rush. If you get in doubt, obviously come and watch my video. It will help you with the steps. Enable auto update. Um, I don't mind that. I'm going to put mine on. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put it on. Do you know why? Because sometimes the updates can break it. Um, we've known about this before, so I turn it off and then it will tell you at the top when an upgrade's ready and you can check out with people like myself or other YouTubers who review these products and you will see how it works. Brilliant. As always, what a clean device it is. It is simple, it is easy. We're going to show you how to customize all of this. It's uh, lovely. And you know what? It's, compared to the um, Fire Stick, there's less advertisement on it. There is still a bit, but there's less. Um, we can find all our apps in the App Store straight here. Get more apps. Um, a good one we always need to look for, as always, is Downloader. Uh, let me find it here. Right, let's type in Downloader quick. That's all we needed. And there it is. So we can click this one, get it downloaded. This will help you install from unknown sources. Okay. Oh, didn't want to look at a picture. The remotes, these new remotes are very responsive and very good. I might have to get another shield for the front room again. Right, let's get this one installed. Okay, that's installed. We can open it. Always click allow with this app so you get your permissions. Um, home, download files, enter in the URL, everything you need, and OK. Now we've got the downloader installed, what we will do going forward is I will show you how to use this in a later video. So do hit that subscribe button and we will show you how this one works. Um, going forwards, we will get there. So hopefully that was useful for you. Hopefully that simple setup was good, but we're going to do everything else in the later videos as we go forward. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. Um, remember, on the channel, do remember to hit the subscribe button where you can. We've got plenty of videos and we will bring in you more NVIDIA Shield ones along with our Fire Stick videos now. The VPN is linked underneath. So are all my socials as well. And I'll see you soon.